there's this great quote that I want to share, which if there was such a thing as the mother of all organizational principles, maybe there's not. But if there was, I believe it's this next quote. It's right here. It's by Arthur Jones. All organizations are perfectly aligned to get the results it gets, right? So XYZ, ABC, you're doing everything perfect to get the results you got, right? And by all organizations, we mean every organization, a work team, a Fortune 50 organization, a government entity. My own family is an organization. All organizations are perfectly aligned to get the results it gets. At Franklin Covey, we would say this, that all organizations are behaving perfectly to get the results it gets. All I did was set up a behavioral description of these organizations. Now, here's what's curious. We're in a trust workshop, and when we asked, what's it like to work in your organization? Nobody said high trust. When we asked what it's like to work in your organization, nobody said, oh, it's terrible, it's low trust. Nobody ever mentioned trust, but we know it's really low trust back there and really high trust here. But why didn't anybody mention it? Here's the reason. We do this exercise all over the world every single week. Same thing. Nobody mentions trust when, when asked about what it's like to work in, the new organiza in this organization because trust is what is known as a hidden variable. You see, trust is a function of language and behavior. I just set up a behavioral description. Trust is a function of the language and behavior we use while we're at work. Okay, and so, you know, John Porter, that great strategy guru said, all grand strategies must eventually degenerate down to real work done by real people. Well, woven into the fabric of the real work here in XYZ was language and behavior that created trust. Woven into the fabric of the real work in ABC back there was language and behavior that destroyed trust. Okay, here's the deal. I'll be the very first person to get on the bandwagon and say, you can't just feel your way into trust. You can't say, hey, everybody, I went to this workshop and we got this team and I think we need more trust around here, so let's start trusting. It doesn't work that way. You can't think your way or, or feel your way into trust because we sometimes forget that trust is both a noun and a verb. And we forget that trust, the noun, the feeling of trust is the fruit of trust the verb, what you actually do to create trust, okay? Trust is a function of language and behavior. More on the business case. In its most simple yet profound expression is this, trust always impacts two measurable outcomes, speed and cost, speed and cost, right? Anytime trust goes down in a relationship, on a team, in an organization, you will have what's known as a trust tax, right? Trust goes down, speed goes down, and cost goes up. We call this, again, a trust tax. Trust always impacts speed and cost, okay? The converse is also true. When trust goes up in a relationship, on a team, in an organization, at least two things happen. Speed will increase and cost will decrease. A trust dividend. Check your own experience. This formula of trust, speed, and cost, it always happens every single time every single time without fail because it is a principle. If trust goes down, speed will go down and cost goes up. 